Hello, Puglets Pug Nation here. Welcome to the Cranky Craft server and happy Friday. And it is Friday, so you know what that means. It's our very first ever Puglets Request Friday. Woo! Yeah, this is this is the day every week I'm gonna set aside to build something that you guys have requested that I build down in the comment section below. So I received a lot of feedback from this, a lot of turnout, which I was very, very thrilled about. Lots of awesome suggestions. As a matter of fact, lots of suggestions that were so awesome, I had a very difficult time picking just one. So uh, before I reveal the public Puglet of the Week, the first ever Puglet of the Week, uh, don't be discouraged if yours wasn't picked. Doesn't mean I don't think it's a good suggestion, just means that I was forced to pick one to build. I may build yours in later weeks, and please continue Continue to leave your suggestions down below in the comments. So without further ado, our very first ever Puglet of the Week is Minecraft for Funnable, who suggested that we build a giant pug. Awesome. Awesome. I love it. I love it. We're gonna build a giant pug coming out of this mountain. We're gonna build a giant pug head. Why? Because it's awesome, that's why. <laughs> Alright, so I already have the materials for this, or I think. Uh, <laughs> I think I do. Already stashed in a box over by my uh, sailboat there. We're just going to build a pug head. And we're going to make it into a kind of like a, a, a temple to the pug. So stay tuned to the end of the episode. Because there's going to be actually some 1.5 redstone gadgetry put into this as well. And you're saying, how do you put 1.5 redstone gadgets into a giant pug head? Well, you better stay tuned and you better see because it will be at the end of this episode. It's going to be awesome. So without further ado, let's go ahead and build this thing. I think I have gathered all the materials I need and I've leveled off this mountain, shaved off some of the excess stuff to make it nice and flat for my super giant awesome pug. And this might get kind of interesting because I've never done anything even remotely pixel already, uh, which is what this is going to be. So, uh, just going to wing it. <laughs> hope, hope it comes out well. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Have faith. Have faith. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Ah. Ah, it's so majestic. He's so beautiful! Oh wow. You know what? I don't even think I'm gonna show you guys me building this. <laughs> because uh, it, it turns out I am terrible at pixel art. Terrible. Like, I, I mean really bad. And this probably took me... Uh, probably over an hour in real life to actually get this right. And I recorded a bunch of footage and it's honestly just me swearing a lot and falling down and dying a lot and making this look terrible a lot but you know what? i think it came out okay I, like it <laughs> it looks like a pug it's the right coloring uh it's a little menacing don't you think it looks kind of angry it looks like a mean pug i've never met a mean pug i don't think such things exist blasphemy but there, there you go, Minecraft for funnable. You gave me a headache. Let me tell you what. <laughs> oh my gosh. Pixel art. Man, a new respect for it. New respect for it. It is very difficult, but but alright, and now I'm going to build the uh, some kind of redstone stuff to go with it. Uh, so I will show you the finished result. All right, so the temple to the pug is complete. Check this out, guys. This is friggin' awesome. So you see that uh, sign right there? That's a indicating that you should place a bone into this hopper. This is like your sacrifice. The pug needs a sacrifice, and pugs love bones. So throw your bone into there. It is now ready to go. And now when you flip the switch, if the pug is pleased... His tears of joy shall water the earth. And this chest will start to fill up with seeds and with wheat and all kinds of stuff. So if the pug, the mighty pug, finds your sacrifice acceptable and you flip the switch, you will receive his blessing and his bounty. 
pretty awesome, right? This thing only accepts bones. It won't accept anything else. Uh, this is actually hooked up to a wheat farm. Uh, it's actually underground. And when you flip the switch, it sends a... Uh, it harvests all the crops underground with water. And then using the Pugnation item transportation system... Uh, like I did with the skeleton farm from the last episode, it transports the drops up to here. There's a dropper block underneath this chest, and then when this is flipped, it automatically feeds the items into the chest. And I used an AND gate here, and the tax man, which is the last tutorial I did to get this to only accept bones and provide an output. Uh, yeah, if that sounds like a lot, it, uh, it's because it will- Oh my god, there's a creeper up there! The pug tier- the Pug Tears also protect us from creepers. Awesome. Yeah, uh, if that sounds like a lot of redstone, um, it was. It was. And uh, I'm going to show it to you guys, but I'm not going to show it to you in this episode. Oh, oh, Pug Nation. Yeah, I know. I think this episode was long enough, and uh, the redstone showing off for this whole gadget is going to be like its own 20-minute episode, I think, guys. Uh, and also, frankly, it's not done. <laughs> it's not completely done yet. So, uh, yeah, that'll be for a different episode, but I just wanted to show this off. Put a little plaque here, honoring the Puglet of the Week. Week number one, Minecraft for Funnable. So every time you guys... Uh, are selected to be the Puglet of the Week for Puglet Request Friday, you will get a plaque at the site of your build. And also, I am thinking I'm going to build a cathedral, which I haven't built yet. Some kind of cathedral or temple or something or other, where I'll have the Hall of Puglet Heroes. Or uh, uh, a place where I can honor all of the Puglets of the Week that have ever been selected. And I'll add a monument in there every time someone has been selected. So yeah! Give me your suggestions for what you want to see built next Friday, and uh, uh, don't be discouraged. Again, if you if you weren't picked, don't be discouraged. Lots of great suggestions. I just picked one that I liked. I think this is friggin' awesome. Um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video and you'd like to see more like it. And I will see you all very soon.